Hello and welcome from the NEC in Birmingham. We're at the camp uh, caravan yeah. camping show and motorhomes <laughs> show. Now this is all new to us. We've I, I've lived in a caravan before, a static caravan, but not in a motorhome. But our plan is, as regular viewers will know, but a lot of unregular viewers might see this. Sorry, I'm out of breath. We haven't stopped. <laughs> Our plan is to, well we are, we're getting a motorhome and we're going to live in it and we're just going to travel all around the UK for the next 10 years. That's our plan. Now we've got an idea of, well there's one which you particularly like yeah. isn't there, one motorhome. Yeah, yeah. Before we came to the show, uh, which you had your eye on. So we're going to start there, I'm going to do a proper review of that. We'll have a really good I'm look so at it. I'm so excited. But I think there's, gonna, there's so many motorhomes here. I think we're going to find similar ones, which, are might, which might be a bit cheaper. But we'll look at the one yeah. you want at the moment. And uh, We both like it. We do. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. But I think it might be out of our price. It's a bit steep no, for us. Let's go, well, let's go look it. at it. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing to point out, by the way, about us and this show is we're, we're sure virgins. We've never been to this show before. <laughs> We know absolute zero about caravans and camper vans. In the air. <laughs> um, so anything we say while we're in the ca caravans and camper vans, please take it with a pinch of salt <laughs> because we can't review things because we don't even know what you call some of the things, some of the features inside. So just bear with us and we'll just do the best we can. Try a hot one, Dan. Jalapeno, yeah. Now the jalapeno isn't really hot. Isn't it? It's hot smoke. Have you got a really, really hot one? Uh, the hot smoked is the process of how it's made. And the jalapenos oh. in it are not actually very hot, I don't think. The chorizo's got a little bit more of a kick to it. That's really nice though. It's really, it is really it's nice. really nice. Yeah, that's hotter. I prefer that. I'm going to have so to try them all. It's 30 40 seconds to that build up. And these ones, the problem is now you've had the chorizo, it will affect the flavour of the other it. ones. Yeah. Can't taste that. Yeah, yeah, I know you won't have the chorizo. That's been popular. Yeah. Can't keep up with the chopping. I'll tell you what, I wasn't planning on spending a penny today, but because I like that so much, for £3, I'm going to have one of them, please. Right, yo. That is gorgeous. OK, we're at it now. We're on the Auto Trail stand. This is called the V Line 610 SE. Now, this is the one we were looking at, but the sport version, yeah? Sport version, yeah. And we came and we've had a little look around. Let's take you in. I'll show you all the things inside first and then I'll tell you what we're talking about. Okay, so we're inside. This is the first thing I'm not keen about. I do like the upholstery, I love that. I'm happy with that. The first slight problem is this doesn't go all the way around and there's no table here, which put me off a little bit, but I'm not too concerned because you've got this uh, little lift-up table here on the end of the kitchen. Mazzy can sit there, swivel all the way around, she can get my cup of tea off the table and just pass it to me. So I, I, I'll be alright with that, I can work around that, no problem. So then you've got this, which is a lot bigger than the one in the old model, the 2014 model. Nice big fridge there, happy with that. And freezer. And freezer. Your wardrobe's up in the top here. That'd do, that'd do. You've got three rings on it, instead of two on the old version. I'm happy with that, because that was something I wasn't keen on. You've got your oven and grill. You've got your sink and your microwave. You've got a little sun roof there. I'm happy with that. I'm going in the bathroom. That'd do. You've got, you know, your lift-up sink there, that'll do nicely. And your shower. throne, my throne, that'll do. <laughs> and your little shower. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. That's brilliant, I love that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And a nice big mirror in there. To see me looking very good on show day with my yeah, new haircut and my favourite shirt. Favourite shirt, new haircut. <laughs> now, coming into the back, this is what we really liked about it. Lots of storage, which you don't see on a lot of them. You've got six of these. You've got these two long seats which you turn into two single beds or a, a double bed. 
so that's cool. And they're long enough for you to lie down and watch TV, which is here. There's a TV. So that's perfect for your privacy. I'm loving these. They're all right. But the only problem with this one is, this isn't the sports version, and the one we were looking at was a sports version where the seats were all the way around. Now in the old version, it had a table here, and we liked the idea of a table and us lying at each side watching TV. In the new one, it's just seating going all the way around. So, not ideal, but I now want to show you the sport, which is what we're looking at on a different model. Come on. And this is what the back of that one will look like if you pay a little bit extra. It's £1,750 to have the sport version. Now the good thing about this is you've got this uh, storage at the back. The doors don't open at the back, which I would prefer personally, Mazzy wouldn't. She likes the idea of nobody can get in the back when you're asleep for security reasons because if they come in to the side where Maz is sleeping, um, she isn't going to be, be able to defend herself and I'm certainly not going to help because she's harder than me. No! So this one, what's this called then? The 635. We've just been talking to the salesman who's been trying to get us to go for this kind instead and I can see why it's a little bit longer. You see um, now, there's a lot more room. Oh, the beds are shorter in this one. There is more room. This is better. This yes, is but better, no, yeah. the, the beds are the same length. The beds are shorter because it's a sport version. Ah. Oh. So it will be the same as uh, as the one we're looking at. Now, the only thing which puts me off this one is for ferries, you can only go up to six meters long. This is slightly over, so you're going to pay more on the ferries, but you do get more for your money. It's got more storage. More well. storage, that's yeah. all she cares about, storage. <laughs> very, very similar. This is much better. This is really what we want. But I've got a table, which is perfect for, I can have my laptop out, I can be doing some work, and driving at the same time. That'll be easy, and I can watch TV. Well. That, I like that, I like that a lot. More storage up there as well. More storage. The storage up here as well. Oh yeah, that's extra as well. But this is the back which we wanted to show you. This is the back it's of the all sport. It's the same in here, isn't it? It's the same van, it's just yeah. bigger. So we've got more storage in this one. But this, it's still long enough for you to lie down and watch the TV. I like it, I'm happy with it. I just don't know if I'm willing to compromise going over the six metre length. This being 6.34 metres, uh, 6.35 metres. So I'm loving where the TV actually is on this one. That's perfect for us to lie down and watch TV. And even when we're in bed, this would be the bed and the TV's right there. Perfect. So we've got six of these. Now we've come and actually seen them. They're not as great as I hoped they would because, because of the curve of the van. It doesn't go all the way back. But can live with that. So we've got... We've got nine. nine. Yeah. Nine of them. Yeah. Wow. Nine. And storage under all this as well. And storage underneath. Yeah. So very happy with that. Yeah. And no one can come in the back. <laughs> no one can come in the back. No. That's just the first van we came to. The one we really wanted to check out the most. So we've done a little review on that for you. Um, we're now going to go around the rest of the show. We've got two days here. God knows what we're going to be showing you. Uh, let's just go have some fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we've been here about an hour now and we still haven't got past the first three vans, honestly. We found another one we like. Now, the difference with this is, it's the same as the last one, the longer version, but this is the Sport 636. And you can have people travelling with you, which could be ideal for the future, you know. The kids. If, if your kids ever want to come with us or anything, you can have, we've got seat belts for them to come, which was a bit of an issue before. The only difference being now is it's slightly shorter at the back is the bed, so you have to sleep that way, which I'm happy about anyway. I don't know, I don't know. Let's just walk away from, from here and look at some other things because I can't make my mind up. I can't make my mind up. This is one which was on my list to look at. Low car camp scout. Now the thing which caught my eye in this one doesn't catch 
uh, Maz's eye, unfortunately, because this is he showers right in the middle of it. Your bed's at the back there. Look, this folds around. You've got your toilet in there, and then you have your shower stood in there with that pulling pulling round as well. I thought that were really quite clever, but it's not Maz's thing. Now watching other YouTubers, a lot of them have been stopping and looking at this one. Now the van itself, the Kepler 6, it's not the thing we're looking for, but look at the colour. The glitter. That is amazing. Now, I saw someone else looking at it yesterday and they've got different colours as well. They've got it in a red and I love the Pink. red. And I was wondering if you could actually, I don't know, could you make that on your own van? Yeah, Apparently it takes it's like seven or nine coats of paint to get that effect, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. That that look fantastic in pink. Not in pink. We're not having yeah. a pink van ever, ever, yeah, ever, pink, ever. It's not happening. This one's the Swift Champagne, which I really like. I think the colours are beautiful. Um, but Mazza is not going to change her mind. She just doesn't care about anything else anymore. I'm looking at price as well, and that one's cheaper. It's cheaper, yeah. It's I'd called champagne. I'd rather pay the extra and close you that You get a van bit. called champagne, which is incredible. It's my favourite drink. And it's cheaper than the other van. Well, I personally like it, but hey, who am I to say? Apart from you haven't got the closed end, but that is beautiful inside. What are you doing in here? This is. This, this is. I am this not is... driving something this big, I'm telling you now. Yeah, check it out. Look, look, you've got all this. Swivel. You wanted swivel. I'll have to admit, it is fantastic. Look at that space. Yeah, and you still got all this. All the storage. It's just lovely. I'll have to admit, and this is actually the same price as what we're looking at. Yeah. Bigger fridge as well. Bigger fridges oh. that are like. Oh, that was so cool! And a little cute fruit freezer or whatever it is. Yeah, you could get 12 beers in there, so you couldn't have a, a proper night session, just a, a good night's drink. Proper bathroom there. Nice bathroom. See, now this is more homely though. It really is, babe. It is, it's fantastic. I'm not knocking it. <laughs> it's just I could never drive anything as big as this. No way. <laughs> Man. It's not the biggest. I know it's not the biggest, but it's too big for me. <laughs> She's looking at caravans now. I am not pulling a caravan. <laughs> Go up there and look for some really small vans. Go on. Tomorrow I'm going to bring a six metre long stick and you can walk around with that and that. Put it next to any van you want and if it's long, if you've caravans or your camper vans longer than the stick, stop looking. <laughs> I could just let you down flat. <laughs> You're about six foot. Not six foot, six metres. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, she's dragging me to see this auto quest now. It's cute and She small. wants me to get one of these coach built things. And I've, I've just never been keen because they just seem too wide for me. I wouldn't be comfortable driving something like that. It's okay if you're going away for a week to, and you go into a campsite and you know where you're going. When you're living in it and you're travelling around your country and you're going to be going into, um, you know, into cities and things now and again, I want something I know, I know I can park in a normal car park and that ain't it. Are you sulking? No. You're not getting one of them. <laughs> we're looking though. Yeah. Right, we're going to take a little break now, come on. It doesn't matter what camper van I show to Mazzy now. She's just not interested. She just has one little looking back. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. no not for me. Oh no. We know no. if it's right or not. <laughs> They're exactly the same as one we're getting, almost. No. <laughs> this is going to be a long two days. I can see it. I can see this being a very, very, very long two we days. We might have our first argument. We will have our first <laughs> argument. I won't be able to argue in the argument, but we will have an argument, I can show you. Someone's going to snap. Another little tip for you if you come to this show, if you bring in a woman with you, 
it's best to bring a bucket as well because you'll be stood outside the toilets for half an hour every half an hour. This one I think is better inside personally. And the interior is The cute. interior is gorgeous. Yeah. But the, like the it's price. out of our price league. Yeah. Okay, we couldn't get in the other one, but this is the 540 RD. It just gives you an idea of how luxurious they look inside. I'm loving the design. This is different, don't get me wrong, the seats aren't as long, this isn't what we're looking for. Yeah. And then you've got the TV in this cupboard here. The TV goes in there which is quite cool. I just love these, uh, I love the decoration, you don't like anything. Not, not in this one, the one we just looked at. Okay, we've had a little break. Um, back in there now. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling refreshed. When you drive a long way in the morning, you get there and you're too tired to do anything. And I was getting a bit like that, but now I've got my uh, energy back and we're up for this now, aren't we? Yeah. Now, where we're we going? Back to my ca the Water Trail caravan to pick up some magazines. We're going back to the original camper van. Yeah, just to get some magazines. I Why don't we just buy... Why don't we buy some deck chairs from the deck chair company and just go sit next to the van, which we're clearly getting, because that's what you want. Well, we know. We'll... <laughs> you want that van. You don't want to look at anything else apart from your van. I like it. I like it, but come on. It's a big show. There's a lot to see. So we've walked around and we've walked around and then we've walked around a little bit more. We started off with the 610. This is what we came to, th to look at, and this is the one we think we were going to buy. Things changed. When you talk to a salesman, things change. And it, it does have a very good point. Very good point. The price is pretty much the same. It's only like a £1,000 difference. It moved us on to the 635. At the end of the day, that sells it to me. The fact you get a table when you're the driver that sells it to me so I was interested in this one but then spoke to a different salesman honestly we're going home in a lorry and now we're on to this one which is pretty much the same but you get you can have passengers in this one you get seat belts and the table at the front and you've got everything you need and this is the same length as the one behind it I believe uh, for Again, just another £1,000. So, when we do eventually leave this show, which isn't today, by the way, this is the van you're wanting at the moment, isn't it? You like it, don't you? Yeah. Why do you like money. it? It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, yeah. It is a lot of money. I think... I think what we've got to agree is we're either... At the moment, we're either buying this or we're just going to get one for £3,000 off, off the internet. One or the other. Or we're going to take a picture of this and see if we can find one on a back street and steal it. That's easy. You just All you have to do is file off the chassis number, change number plates, get it sprayed. No, no, no. <laughs> A certain somebody has got quite excited by this one simply because of the name of it. The Troll Range. We are the Travel Trolls. And it is a fantastic name. What she doesn't realise yet is it hasn't got an engine. So what do you think of this? It's so cute. You liking this, yeah? Yeah. Um, it's cheap as well. It's very Is it? cheap, yeah. You know, it's, it's. It seems quite spacious. It's less than half of the price of the ones we've been looking at. Really? Yeah. Bathroom's lovely as well. Is it? Yeah. That is lovely. The only problem with this one is it hasn't yeah. got an engine, love. Oh. It's not got an engine. Oh. You have to pull it along with another vehicle. Oh. It's, it's, I think they call them caravans. Oh. Yeah. It was cute. Everyone you want to go in what? There's always someone in there. There's someone in there. <laughs> it's not your show, you know. It is, it's a 
Where's the Dan Show? This is the Familia 320. Automotive Leisure Limited. But again, it's a, car it's a caravan. I don't know why she's even... Come on, I just realised. It's what? <laughs> I just realised. Yeah, it's not got an engine, love. So this is the Vantage Sol. Look at the price. Look at the price. It's just out of our league. Well, it's by about £54,900. But this is exactly the same setup as the one we're looking at. It's not posher. It is posher. Yeah. I think the actual design is. Look, check the, the interior is beautiful. Out, look, the interior is like a yeah, but you don't get the towel. The towel doesn't come with it. I wouldn't it. want that. You'd have to buy that. I wouldn't want it. <laughs> I think it's expensive enough without needing the towel. Yeah, it's very nice in there. I like the interior colours. That looks really, really, really comfy. You've got a big, uh, nice fridge. Bigger wardrobe than the one we were looking at. Three burner again. It's very nice, it's well made. You've got to admit, yeah. that looks better. You've got like yeah. part leather and this beautiful uh, upholstery. That is, and look, two windows there. In fact, that is a door at the back, yeah. which you didn't want. That's the only but thing it covers it up. up. It covers it up. Yeah, you're, all you're doing is covering it up. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good thing. It's covering it up. God, I'll sleep at that side of bed if that's your problem. No, the bed comes this way. That's great because you can open the doors, lie down here, and just <laughs> stare out at the sea. I think that is fantastic. And all this upholstery is brilliant. It's all like leather and uh, cotton interwoven stuff. And you get six free eggs and a timer and a timer. I love it. I love it. Television's in the same place as well. No, I yes. want to see you on a wobble board. I'm not going on a wobble board. I'll board. get on a wobble board. It's a woman thing. Look, there's a woman no, there. No. There's a woman instructor, a woman on it. Please, it's your come on. It's for the video. That's what you do. You're a woman. Get on the wobble board. I'll be back. I'll hold you back. I'm going to wobble. It doesn't matter. Go on, you can do it. <laughs> Best excitement I've had for months. It's only excitement you're going to get for months. How much is it? It might be worth buying. Rock the brush backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Let the brush do the work, don't press hard on it. Let's see and it'll take all that pelling off within seconds. It's there like it sandpaper. Is that the sandpaper. It's got a diamond with a coat and a Teflon on. Rough it does diamond. feel like sandpaper, but it's not. This is tissues in the wash, if you've ever done that at all. The lighter strokes you do, the better it actually is. Oh, that's the boot of the car, isn't it? Tissues in the wash or anything at all. Tissues like in the wash, you're always bad at doing no, that. No, you did that. See how she always blames you, straight away. Yeah. You're always yeah. doing that. Yeah, it's my tissue. Yeah, I know, but, but you, it isn't me who washes you don't them. So who made, it, so who's the one who made the error in the first place? You can place? use it on all your clothes while it's on you. Why is it a man's job to empty? If you're doing the washing, it's your job to empty the pocket. I'd do it if I were doing the washing. This is going to last you three to four years. It's years, isn't it? You know, when I'm painting a fence, yeah, I, I don't ask you to check the brushes. You know, when you've finished painting, make sure you've cleaned them off. I don't ask you to do that. When you do the... <laughs> Look at his He's waiting for me to get a slap. <laughs> so I'm watching another YouTuber and they mentioned this and I've never heard of it. Brit Stops. And we've just found the stand here. Now, Brit Stops, you can go on campsites and spend £20-£30 a night just to stay on their campsite to use the facilities and things. But Brit stops find places where you can stay for free. And it's usually like pub car parks, vineyards, you said. But where else? Uh, farm shops, breweries. Farm shops. Yeah, we've got a llama park. A llama uh, park. Museums, an aircraft museum. So the company have kept come up with, they've got 900 places throughout Britain. Have you got all them books again, just to show how much you've grown? So this is our first book. That was their first book. Look how thick that That's is. 75 places in. It's actually really hard to put together. Because we had yeah, no reference point or anything. Yeah, so it's about 3,000 emails and just calling people. So over the years you can see how much this company is growing. And people are subscribing to this and it's £27.50 to subscribe for the year. You get the book and you can park places for free. You don't have to pay the caravan sites. And 
the good thing for the places such as the pubs is they get your custom while you're parked in their car park. I think it's a really good idea and we're definitely going to be subscribing when we get a scamper van. But uh, yeah, good on you, I think that's a fantastic idea. Thanks, cheers. Okay guys, that's the end of day one. I was, I was planning on making like six videos at this show, but it's just not working out like that. I think I'm just going to put this in as day one. Um, we've had a great time and we're coming back tomorrow, so see you tomorrow. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it's been fun. Have you learned anything? It Le is tiring. My feet are killing me. Yeah, but, uh, definitely learned some stuff. We're learning as we're going along, and if there's anyone out there who's watching this who, who doesn't know who we are, uh, please do subscribe to us because we are going to be coming van life people living the van life properly living. properly <laughs> it might be a few months it might be about five months but it will happen and we're going to be putting out some good videos so thanks for joining we'll see you all later on the travel troll say goodbye mazzy bye bye <laughs> say goodbye mazzy bye mazzy oh give over <laughs> come on let's go <laughs>